Well, imagine swiping your credit card at a vending machine, but instead of buying a candy bar for yourself, you're actually buying a pair of shoes for someone in need, or a goat for a family in a developing country, or meals for a homebound senior. With the Light the World Giving Machines, that's exactly what happens. So to tell us more about the Giving Machines, we are joined right now by Mary Mercado. She is the Houston Metro Media Director for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you because this, this is near and dear to my heart. My family, this is a family tradition for us. Uh, when we were in Utah, we went to the giving machines there and it's so great to see them here in Houston. Yeah, we are so excited to have the giving machines in Houston. Houston was actually the first city in Texas to get giving machines. There are 61 giving machines around the world right now, and we happen to have a couple of them right here in Houston. Uh, so what is the purpose of the giving machines? So the purpose of the giving machines is to give people an exciting and meaningful way to give back during the holiday season. I mean, it's a really unique thing. These are big red vending machines, you know, just like you'd go get a soda or candy bar, but instead there's different tabs representing Presenting all these really unique gifts that directly benefit charity organizations right here in our community and abroad. And 100% of the donations through the giving machines go straight to those charities. Absolutely, yeah. The, uh, the church actually pays for all the administrative and marketing costs, so none of that goes to, and none of the dono donations go to, to support it. It's all directly to the charitable organizations. Now let's talk about those charitable organizations. Who benefits from them? Okay, so we have uh, Catholic Charities, Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, Interfaith Ministry, for Greater Houston, Soul Missions, and Houston Tool Bank here in our area. And then also globally we uh, benefit American Red Cross, African Girls Hope, and Church World Service, all who do great things during times of emergency and disaster. So, And so what are some of the things that you can get? We bought a chicken one year, we bought a goat, we got some laptops, but there's <laughs> just a wide variety of things people can buy. There's so many meaningful gifts. I know some of my favorite include vital immunizations for children. Um, um, burkinis and swim lessons for refugee women. Uh, we have shoes, we have uh, books for girls, um, feminine health products so young girls can go to school in Africa because if they don't have those, they can't go to school. And everybody's favorite is the milk goat. <laughs> yes, yes, we actually have some photos of one of the goats that went to Georgia. Tell me a little bit about yes, that. Yes, so there was a family who was displaced due to a landslide. They're in a new, new village. They didn't have a way to support themselves. And the thing that's so great about the milk goats is not only do they find, supply food, you know, you've got milk, cheese, butter, they, can, they also reproduce quickly, so then it becomes a family business, and they're able to support themselves long term. So that's really exciting for me. It, this, the giving machines, they bring so much joy to me, and I really hope they bring joy to other families, and they start a tradition with them. Where can we find them here in Houston? So this year they're at Conservatory Food Hall, Food Hall which is in downtown Houston, 606 Dennis Street. They're here um, now through January 1st. Mm -hmm. You can come actually 24-7, but we do have volunteers there to help you most of the day, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., uh, but you can stop by, check out the giving machines, have some great food at the Food Hall.